The treasurer loves to show off the treasures. We have six cages. Deep below her office. Here's an example of some silver, and this dates back to the 1800s to like through goblets. 1950. Oh, there's goblets, there's a tea set, there's platters. There's silver, gold, diamonds, and currency like you've never seen before. The $1,000 Grover Cleveland. That's legit. Yes, that's legit. That, that was a real bill. Yes. So I like to pull out this drawer to show people. This is mainly more silver pieces. You could have a heck of a tea party. We could have a good tea party. There's $4 billion worth of unclaimed stuff, mostly from abandoned safety deposit boxes. You ever say, all right, I got a dinner party. That, 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 uh, that would look pretty cool. <sighs> got to set a good example. So I got to leave it all here. <laughs> but she'd love to clear it all out. We want to give everything back because it doesn't belong to us. It belongs to the people of Pennsylvania. So does the vault which is a treasure in its own right. Just this door itself is 60 tons. It was built in 1939 for $600,000. That's $11 million today. And a good deal, Garrity says. It's the largest working vault in the U.S. and it's never been robbed. It does wow me, just the fact that it was built in 1939. After three years in here, most of these valuables will be auctioned off. Last year, the general fund got to claim $220 million from unclaimed items. But not everything here goes to the highest bidder. We never get rid of any military decorations. We're getting ready to do a return of 99 items. There are 618 of them. That's a ruptured duck, which is given to you when you have your honorable discharge. And in less than a year, Garrity's return more than 100. It is a priority for this former Army colonel who did three tours in Iraq. My goal is to return every single military decoration. What we have in here are our purple hearts. But there's a special place in her heart for purple hearts, which are only given to the killed or wounded. It requires a fair amount of detective work. Her staff works hard to return them to the people who earned them or their families. These military decorations are priceless. We want to make sure that we honor our veterans and we remember their sacrifice and their service. Millions of dollars of stuff from every Pennsylvania county can be found here, and Garrity is confident until they can be returned or sold, they're safe here. If you've ever seen the movie Ocean's Eleven, this vault is way more impressive than the vault in Ocean's Eleven.